Hello, Harvest Vineyard. Uh, so glad to see you today, and I'm excited to be with you today. If we if we haven't met yet, my name is Jason Van Hove. I'm one of the pastors here at, at our church, and today I am going to be talking with some missionaries in the field in a new video series uh, that we're calling Updates from the Field. And I have a couple that are on here with us today. Some of you may know them, some of you may not. Uh, but they are awesome. We're going to hear a little bit from them today. So, uh, hey, Steve. Hey, Chelsea. Uh, how are hey. you guys doing? Doing well. Doing well. Awesome. Hello, Harvest Vineyard. Hey, so yeah, we're Steve and Chelsea Neutron. Um, we have three little daughters, uh, Annika, who's five, Ruby's three, Vivian is one, and we live in Wageningen, the Netherlands, so you can practice trying to say that. <laughs> that's a that's a good challenge right there. That's, yeah, it is. The faster you say it, just the easier it is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's a good so we, tip. Yeah, yeah. So we went to Harvest Vineyard from I think 2014 to 2019, mm -hmm. and in the summer of 2019, we moved to the Netherlands to start ministry here. Uh, we partner with a local vineyard church uh, in the city here, and also with the Navigators working specifically with international students. Awesome. Awesome. And for those of you who uh, were here when we sent Steve and Chelsea, and, and even for those of you who uh, weren't around when we sent them, you know that, uh, that they're awesome and they're still a part of our church family, that uh, even though they're far away, that they're an extension of us you're still Harvest Vineyard people. You're, and you're extending the kingdom you of God. You should have wore our shirts. Oh, <laughs> bummer. Next time. <laughs> we'll do this again. We'll do yeah. this again. They're, they're Harvest Vineyard people who are extending the kingdom of God. And we, we support them as a church family through prayer. Uh, we also support them financially on a monthly basis. So thanks to all of you who are praying for them and financially giving uh, to be supports of Stephen Chelsea as well. They're also uh, strategic partners of ours, which means that they're sent to a strategic location and they serve with a vineyard organization and that they've been involved in our church for many years, serving and leading faithfully as well. So uh, we just love you guys and are so thankful for you. So I'm wondering if you would just give us kind of a uh, overview of what is ministry like in the city of Wageningen. I think I got it close. Pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So in my role with the navigators, uh, I worked specifically with international students and some Dutch students as well. But the focus is international student ministry here in Wageningen. There's over a hundred nations in a city, the size of Ames, actually it's about 40,000 people that live here. And so it's the, I think the second most diverse city in the Netherlands behind Amsterdam, uh, I believe. So yeah, there's a, there's a great opportunity here to reach the nations from one, uh, one place here in Wageningen. Um, so I am leading Bible studies and connecting with international students and mentoring them, discipling them, helping them with their walk with Jesus, also meeting uh, non-believing students and uh, processing with them their, their spiritual faith and journey and uh, things like that. Yeah, and so for my role, I... When we moved here, I joined staff of our local vineyard church. And so obviously church life has been a little different over the past year. Uh, here, our church has been closed uh, for over a year now. And closed, meaning we haven't had in-person gatherings. So we've done a lot of smaller groups, but even that had to stop um, probably early in the fall. Um, and so that's been a little bit tricky and difficult over the past year, trying to keep the church connected in this strange time when we haven't been able to gather at all. The restrictions here have been quite intense. Um, but so I would say my role right now is trying to find a link between the international community and our local vineyard church. Uh, when we moved here, the church was 100% Dutch speaking. Um, and so they weren't being able to connect with this giant population of internationals in the city. And so my role continues to be a way to try to link these two together and to train and equip the international students to bring the good news of Jesus to the ends of the earth. And so I work a lot with Steve, with the Navigator Ministries as well, um, meet a lot one-on-one -on -one with students, especially in these times we're finding uh, the international community, especially the students, um, 
just their mental health is really struggling. A lot of them live in single person apartment rooms. And so just a lot of isolation. And so, yeah, we do a lot of dinners and inviting students over and meeting one-on-one -on -one to encourage them in this time. Mm. Yeah, thanks for sharing a little bit about uh, your work uh, internationally. And I've always thought it's so interesting that uh, God has sent you internationally to work cross-culturally with students <laughs> who are internationals in a cross-cultural setting. Yeah. Uh, it's really, really wild and crazy. And I know that you guys are thinking of lots of different cultural contexts all at once yeah. as you're connecting <laughs> people to Jesus, but it's yeah. Super cool. So I'm curious to know, and maybe I'm hoping probably others are as well. What's, what's something that each of you are excited about right now or something that exciting that you see God doing in your areas of ministry there? Um, just this past week, I actually got connected with an Italian student through this crazy, like supernatural connection with another student. And we met for coffee and she's just really excited. She had been praying for God to send her someone that she could read the Bible with. And then in comes someone who connected with her and gave her my phone number. So just a really sweet connection. Well, she ends up being connected to an organization here in the city that's of more of like an interfaith organization. So they're open to all sorts of faith, thinks everything points to the same gods. So there's a lot of Buddhists, um, yeah, other faith organizations and things they're connected to. And they actually invited me to come and give a workshop on absolutely anything that I wanted to. And so I was like, what, what a crazy connection. Um, and then that led to another connection, like the local vegan association actually invited me to come and speak on um, what Christians believe about eating meat. And so I don't know what I'm going to say yet. I have a lot of research to do, but mostly just feel excited that God has kind of opened some really unique doors for us to come and share the gospel. And so we really find in this time too, I think people are becoming more spiritually open as they're, you know, struggling a lot with mental health mm -hmm. or um, just I, because of the isolation, they're just becoming more open to things. And so mm -hmm. I'm just excited about what God is doing among students in this time and some of these really random, unique doors he's opening. Yeah. Wow. Th those are some crazy <laughs> cool opportunities that God has put out for you right there. Yeah. Yeah, unexpected. How about you, Steve? What's what's something you're excited about? Yeah. Well, like I shared, uh, my main focus is is towards uh, international students. Uh, however, there's a lot of Dutch students here too, and there are Christian. Uh, there is a Christian navigator group for Dutch students. Um, however, it's modeled a bit differently than 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 our ministry. But uh, God's brought a lot of the several Dutch students to us. Um, and it's, it was kind of unexpected because I, when I came here, I was like, okay, I'll be connecting with only internationals, not really the Dutch students. Um, but as missionaries, one of our goals and purpose to be here is to also equip local laborers. So the opportunity to actually invest and equip these Dutch students who are in classes with international students who live in the same building, maybe even the same house as uh, international students. I mean, they're living among them, yeah. Um, which, yeah, they have access to them when, when we don't. So I'm just excited about how God is working through these Dutch students that we have the opportunity to invest in to also uh, reach international students and also reach the nations um, in this unique place. That's really cool. I like that you said, uh, kind of cast that vision too of, as you equip Dutch students to reach their neighbors, they're actually reaching the nations because mm -hmm. the students will eventually go off back to their homeland or off to the nations. And yeah. uh, so that's a really cool way that the kingdom of God spreads through your ministry yeah. across the world. Right. Exactly. That's yeah. super exciting for me as well. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So what's, uh, what's something that's coming up? that we, would be good for all of us to be aware of or what's, what's happening coming up in your lives and ministry? Yeah. So in May, I will be finishing a two year long uh, spiritual direction training through the organization called Sustainable Faith. And this was a kind of an unexpected training that I wasn't planning on doing initially, um, but God really guided me towards that. And it's been, uh, a place where I've experienced so much spiritual growth um, for myself, but also that's translated into 
my day-to-day conversations with people and actually how it, and it's even shaped our ministry and um, kind of how we do things and how we journey with people and, and lead them uh, in truth. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to completing that and just continuing to use the skills that I've learned um, from that. Uh, yeah. As I live out this new career of vocational ministry, since I come from a, uh, natural resource management background, transitioning into this new full-time uh, vocational ministry was a transition. So having this training has really helped me in, um, in that transition. So I'm very thankful for that. Yeah. Thanks for mentioning that, Steve, that when you lived in Iowa, that you actually, you, I guess maybe you could title, your title could have been park ranger almost. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and now look, you know, like doing international ministry and even getting trained to be a spiritual director. It's, that's pretty cool uh, that you've taken a total change of career. I love it. So I'm looking forward to getting my driver's license. This has been a long time coming. I take my exam on Wednesday and I'm very excited. Uh, There is nothing more humbling than learning to drive again after having been driving for the last you know, I got my license when I was 14, which Dutch people find insane. Like who would give a 14 year old a driver's license? Uh, anyway, so looking forward to that. And um, also started a new Bible study with some single women in our ministry on God's design for sexuality, which has just been super fun. Excited to see how that unfolds. And also one quick last thing as a family, we're looking forward to coming back to the U.S. this summer. And so hope to see a lot of you. We hope to spend some time at Harvest Vineyard catching up and sharing a little bit more uh, about what God has done here in the Netherlands over the past year and a half. That'll be awesome. Summer 2021. Hopefully. You'll be back, hopefully, in the state. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully travel restrictions will be lifted and be no, yeah. no issues. And we'll get to see you back here at HVC this summer. That'll be awesome. Cool. Well, Thanks so guys, so much, you guys, for joining me today and uh, for sharing just a little bit about what God is up to in your lives and ministry. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love you. We thank God for you, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Do you want to say anything to anybody who's watching today? Oh boy. <laughs> well, we're just so thankful, <laughs> just in general, to Harvest, to you, Jason, yeah. to the community for supporting us in so many different ways from even as we dis- were discerning our call to even move to the Netherlands and to, for me to switch my career, um, HVC has just been a big role, big part in the, in our story of being here mm-hmm. and also like, yeah, impacting us and now that we're able to Im- impact students and send them out to the nation. So thank you, Jason. Thank you, Harvest Vineyard and everybody there who has supported us. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, you guys. Uh, A reminder that if you'd like to know more about Steve and Chelsea, would like to get in contact with them, be added to their prayer update list, or even if you'd like to consider financially sponsoring them, supporting them, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my info in the description of the video below, and I'd love to hear from you and connect you with them. Okay. All right. That's been an update from the field. I think we did it, you guys. Nice job. Awesome. All right. God bless you. Thank you.